Good morning, everybody. This is your girl, Disparate Amelia, back again with another vlog. Alrighty, so today is Monday, October 3rd, and Savannah Film Festival tickets go on sale at 10 a.m. And I'm legit looking at them, like, because as students, we get to go free for most of the event, and we get, like, a student discount for the events that aren't free, but to be honest, I'm probably just gonna volunteer. I already have one ticket that I purchased on Friday for going to the meeting that I told you guys about in my last vlog. You guys should definitely check that out. I'm probably gonna volunteer or try to go into a lot of the workshops and panels that they're gonna have this year. I think that would be really awesome for me, but most likely I'm not gonna buy a ticket because I'm not standing in that line right now in person or I'll probably go after my classes which my last class ends at 4 30 so i'll probably go then but yeah it's gonna be hectic trying to purchase these tickets but i'm definitely excited for the film fest to come i'm also kind of excited for afropunk coming up which is the week before film fest october 14th through 16th i didn't buy my ticket yet because i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna get there and to be honest i don't want to put in an extra $50 on top of the $60 ticket to go to Atlanta. I'm really trying to save up my money because you never know where things are going, you know? I haven't gotten my refund check yet and I still have to pay for my voice lessons which are in the account, so I'm like, I don't really want to spend all this money when it can be avoided, but I'm gonna see. It sounds like a couple of friends are going, so that would be awesome if they could give me a ride to Atlanta. Oh my god, that would be so amazing that I would definitely go, but I'm really excited. This is coming to Atlanta, Gold Link, Kalayla, like Big Frida, it's like a whole bunch of guests that I can't even think of, Lion Babe. So I'm really excited to go. I really hope that I can go, but yeah, that's just my update of the morning in another seven minutes i'll probably be seeing what workshops and panels are going on and try to snag some tickets for that but yeah thank you guys see you later oh wait before i see you later do you hear what's playing in the background solange's new album a seat at the table is out right and now. Solange is basically like my DJ artist, visual art director, fashion, like mogul type. Like she's just everything. And I really appreciate her for her creativity. She's just something that I think we need in this world most definitely. Like her music is really different. Her style is really different. Her visuals are really awesome and different. Like she's an actress, she's a DJ, she's a singer, she's a songwriter, she's a art director, like everything that I basically wanna be. So I'm just like me in the future, okay? Or, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that statement because I don't know how else to say that, but yeah. I love Solange. If you guys haven't checked out that album, please check it out. A Seat at the Table is full of some good knowledge, some good tunes, and it has some good visuals as well. So please definitely check that out. Hey guys. Hi guys. So I am at Fatima and Infinity's place right now. This is my girl Fatima. Say hi. hi. <laughs> we are go going over a scene for our Shakespeare class. Much Ado About Nothing. Fatima's over here cracking me up. Like, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> going over these scenes. Okay, are you ready? This is the dramatic version. Ready. Ready. Go ahead. Lady Beaches, you have wept all this while. Yay. And I will weep a while longer. I will not desire that. <laughs> okay. You have no reason. I do it freely. Surely I do believe your fair cousin is wrong. Ah, uh, how much might the man deserve of me that would write her? Is there any way to show such friendship? Well, maybe that should be more dramatic. Like, ah, uh, how much might the man deserve of me that would write her? Is there any way to show such friendship? <laughs> I'm so weak. Do not swear and eat it. I will swear by it that you love me. Mm. And I will make him eat it that says I love not you. 
Will you not eat your word? With no sauce that can be devised to it. Oh God, that I were a man. I would eat his heart in the marketplace. Hear me, Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> you just dropped in your bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh my all god. Is well, all Drama. Is... Dun dun dun. Drama. Hey guys. <laughs> so, Monica, we were sitting here eating, and um, Monica's eating some pasta, and she just gave me some knowledge about what penne means in Italian, because Monica's Italian, if you guys didn't know. But go ahead, go ahead and explain that. Go ahead. Um, well, That's the penne right there. <laughs> Solicited definitions yeah. for Monica for eating little penises in Italian. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, everybody? Good morning or good afternoon. It's around like 12 right now. Oh, it's around 1 right now. But today is Wednesday. Classes are canceled for today and tomorrow on Thursday because Hurricane Matthew is on its way to the Savannah region. So our classes are canceled. We went to like a meeting last night saying that we may have to evacuate depending on how bad they think the weather is going to get or how bad they think um, Matthew is going to hit. But I don't have a car. So I'm gonna have to evacuate with SCAD. In doing that, in evacuating with SCAD, it's gonna be the Hive, all of the dorms in the Hive, Boundary, Turner, O House, and what else? Tanex. Like, that's basically everybody at SCAD besides Mountie, Barnard, and, um, and the Terrace, if you know what I'm talking about. SCAD students probably know what I'm talking about. Other people are probably like, what are you talking about? But those are like all the dorms. So basically in my area, there's gonna be like, depending on who drove and who can't drive, there's gonna be like 2,000 something car people trying to get on these buses to go to SCAD Atlanta. But thank God that I live in Atlanta. I don't live too far from the Atlanta region. It's like a 30 minute drive. So my mom will probably come and get me if we have to evacuate. I'm kind of glad that we don't have classes, but I'm not glad that we're gonna have to evacuate because I already know it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be crazy. A lot of people are gonna be there. We are only having like ac academic buses. So if you live in Atlanta, it's basically like driving MARTA for four hours with people that you don't know. And I'm just not about it. I'm just not about that life right now, but hopefully um, everything is cool and we don't really have to evacuate my prayers really go out to everyone in jamaica and haiti and all the other places that matthew is saying that it's gonna hit i really hope that you guys are staying safe stocking up on your foods keeping everything boarded up so nothing really gets damaged because this is like a category four hurricane so it can probably get really wild but all my prayers and wishes and best of luck go out to you guys i will update you guys later on but yeah well right now this is what i think it might be day four day five of my henna and it's a it's kind of fading a little bit at the fingertips if you can see it looks more brown now it was really like black when i got it the first time but now that it's kind of fading it's like blending into my skin tone but yeah i'll keep you guys updated on everything that i do thank you all for watching I don't know why I felt like I was about to close the video, but thank you guys. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Mon and I just walked all the way to Petter Hall, which if you go to SCAD, it's like the orientation building. We didn't even know we were walking this far or maybe that Petter is so close. But yeah, we're at Petter. What up? Cheese. We're at Petter right now. This is so dope. So yeah, nice. The top of the building, I didn't even the top of, Oh, that's so pretty. The top of this building, guys. That's a griffin right there. Oh, it's so beautiful in Savannah. Savannah College of Art and Design. My hair right now. I don't know <laughs> what's going on with your hair. <laughs> hey! Hey 
guys. So Mon and I are at Cafe at City Market. Yes. Yes. And we're waiting on the girls. We're waiting on Bree and Deborah to arrive. But I'm pretty hungry right now. Are you hungry? Yeah. Mon does like over it. Over it. But this is my first time being here, so hopefully it's real good. It seems like a southern down like. Down yeah, down to Southern. Southern. <laughs> southern. <laughs> I can't speak. And yeah, I'm hungry. Deborah and Brie are approaching. <laughs> she sees me. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hi. What's up? What's up? Hi. That's all your face. How y'all doing? Hi. Hi. What's up? No, I won't. The song. I mean, it is over myself. Evacuating like literally right now. I like have my bags and everything. I'm about to go to Monica's room so we can leave together because honestly, I was like kind of prepared. My friend told me, sorry about like the hecticness with this camera, but I'm trying to leave. Oh, Deborah calling me. Oh my god, hello? Yeah, Deb? We're evacuating. What do you have on right now? I don't have rain boots, so. I don't have rain boots either. I'm wearing sneakers. I don't really think it's gonna rain right now. I was really expecting it to be like a buttload of people here right now, but it's actually not. More than I thought. We're, <laughs> well, we're one of the first, you want know. some breakfast. Same. I'm really hungry too. We're just out here, you know. I'm, but I'm glad we like were aware that this was gonna happen. So we just had to grab our stuff and go because we were already packed, but yeah. 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 What kind of food do you want, Monica? I want some like Thai food. Yeah. Or like Asian food. Yeah. Egg rolls. Oh yeah. Water. Most likely water. Wine. Definitely. I can go for some wine. What? <laughs> that just went over my head. <laughs> wine. No, and uh, like strawberries. Chocolate strawberries. Okay, you're wilding now. No, I just, I just want, want whole, food, man. I want like a cruise, like a cruise buffet. <laughs> That's what I want right now. <laughs> Alright, can you please tell the number of people who's getting on the bus? <laughs> Go on. So Mon and I are on the bus right now. Great. We're getting ready to leave. We got our, where is it? Our snack packs equipped with milk and cheeses. So that sounds fun. Actually, this weekend is going to be really lit. Like, no lie.
Hey everybody. So we just got to Scat Atlanta and I'm legit so angry right now. I'm very upset, okay? We've been traveling for what, 12 hours? Everyone had an attitude on the bus who was supposed to be helping us. No one knew how to talk to anybody. Like what the heck, I'm really upset and I can't even go home because if I go home then I can't, I won't be able to get a ride back. So we're sitting or sleeping on these cots, right? This is ridiculous. I really want to scream, but I'm going to keep my calm, okay? Because I'm a civilized human being. <laughs> I'm like legit so angry right now. Everybody's like clapping when we came in. I was like, no, what the hell? We were, we were one of the first buses to leave. We were the last bus to get here. Like what sense does that make? I don't get it. I'm upset and I have to use the bathroom. So, you really about to do a vlog? Yeah, yeah I'm well, about to do a vlog. This is my life you know, journey. Like, oh my I have to vlog. So we are reunited <laughs> with Deborah, Monica, and then myself. We just changed into our pajamas. I have no blanket right now, so I'm about to sleep like bare bootied. It is kind of hot in here though. Stuffed. Still, but yeah, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're we'll going on our Atlanta adventure. I know Deborah's all like dressed. Look at her. Look at her. Hey, Deb. Hi. She's so cute. She looks like a little fairy. It's so cute. But yes, see you guys tomorrow.